November 11, 1983. Leonid Ilyich Brezhnev, General Secretary of the Soviet Communist Party for almost two decades, dies. Brezhnev had been a classic cold warrior. Yet as Brezhnev's body is carried to its resting place, there is reason to hope his successor, Yuri Andropov, might be more open to a fresh start with the United States. One month later, hope pays off. Soviet ambassador to the U.S., Anatoly Dobrynin, sends a message to George Shultz, proposing the start of preliminary talks between the two nations. Shultz is pleased. He is determined to get Ronald Reagan to begin a dialogue with the Soviets. His chance will come with a Washington snowstorm. During a gathering winter storm, George Shultz returns to Washington from a trip to China. He's lucky to be able to land at Andrews Air Force Base before the snow becomes a major blizzard. So we got home on a Friday, and it was snowing. It had been snowing. And it kept snowing. So the Reagans were not able to take a chopper up to Camp David or a car, nothing. They were stuck in the White House for the evening. So our phone rings, and they said, why don't you come over and have supper with us? So my wife and I went over. The four of us had a very nice supper. After supper, Schultz and the president have coffee and talk about Chinese leaders the secretary has met on his trip. With more coffee, the topic begins to shift. Reagan presses Schultz for information about Soviet leaders. I knew the Soviet leaders because when I was secretary of the treasury earlier, I had met with them and done a lot of negotiation with the Soviet leaders. And I began to see this man is dying to interact with these people and try to work them over in his way of thinking. Given Reagan's stand on communism, no one on his team has ever recommended that he meet a Soviet leader. Schultz has other ideas. So I said to the president, Ambassador de Brin is coming over next Tuesday, 5 o'clock. What if I bring him over here and you talk to him? He said, oh, that'd be great. And he had said to me, it'll be a very short meeting, because all I want to say is that if his new boss, Andropov, wants to have a constructive dialogue, I'm ready. <laughs> 